Hey guys, welcome to episode 15 of the Everton Football Manager series. Today is a massive one. It's a season finale of games, as in we've got a cup final and three more Premier League games to play. Before we get into it, please do leave the video a like, drop a comment, make sure you subscribe as well, follow the social medias and share the video. But let's get into this episode. So, this is how it looks then guys, to finish out the season. Southampton, Arsenal, Liverpool in the cup final... And then Newcastle in the Premier League. We picked up some accolades as well. Donny van der Beek, Player of the Month. Um, Patterson also got named second place in the Young Player of the Month. Premier League goal is Donny. We all know what that one was. Manager of the Month for me with an 85% win. I mean, it's incredible. Manager of the Month as well. And also a little championship one there. But we have now got Southampton in our first game. And I'm hoping... We can finish off this season with three wins in the Premier League. Maybe the Arsenal one might be a bit tricky, but I'm hoping it's something that we can definitely try because there's no reason why we can't. I mean, the way that we're playing at the moment, we're playing lights out and we've got a chance to finish. Well, we are going to finish in the top four. So we've got a chance, sorry, to finish in the top four, which we've done, win the Carabao Cup, which we've done. And the opportunity to win the FA Cup, which we could do, dependent if we can um, obviously beat Liverpool, which is no easy job. We only just about scraped it in the Premier League. So to do that twice in such short notice is going to be difficult, but we'll try. But let's go into this game then against Southampton, build the team together, spend a bit of time together, shall we? So Richarlison, Calvert-Lewin, switch these two around. Ali 100% going to carry on playing. Um, switch them two around so we get this beautiful trio. Um... Patterson's actually going to start this game and we're going to give Kenny a game, keep them two at the back and that looks perfect to me. Obviously, really nice to see Richarlison back. Um, Tossoon's also ready to come back. So we're back to more or less, we are back to full strength now um, to luckily finish out the season unless we do unfortunately pick up any more injuries, which hopefully we don't. Um, Southampton, how are they doing this season? Eighth place, quite a good finish for them then, um, to be fair. So they'll be looking to try and try and worm their way into top six. So we have got to be careful as Che Adams goes through and puts them 1-0 up and not a great start. Obviously, it's never nice when you concede before 10 minutes and he's done that. And now we've got a bit of a, not a massive mountain to climb, but definitely a decent sized one. Kenny, Allen, Takure, Delhi, Richarlison loses possession. We've got, just got to be careful it doesn't snowball here. Take your time. Calvert to, through to Richarlison. A poor ball. We are, we're still doing well, though. We're recycling the ball well. Van der Beek, Richarlison, Alan Calvert. Lewin through to Richarlison. A fantastic save. And luckily for them, they haven't they haven't equal or you know, we haven't equalized because once we get one, we have got we have got the sort of firepower to keep going. But the next goal is massive for us. It really is. And Delhi does so well there. Ball over the top into Calvert. Into Richarlison. What a block that is. What a block that is. We've just got to be careful. This next goal is massive. If we can get it, it's going to be so big. Alan fighting for it. Ball back in. We just keep getting it into their face. We're, we're just going and going. Relentless stuff. Off the post. Off the post. And hopefully... Come on, boys. Just keep fighting. Keep fighting. Demand a bit more from them. Really get them fighting for this. Because there's a lot on the line. It looks like this could go in 1-0 uh, to Southampton at half-time. And we're unfortunate not to have scored there. Um, we, we can't feel sorry for ourselves, though. Um, that's one thing we can't allow, because at the end of the day, we shouldn't have gone a goal behind so early on. But we did, and now we've got to pay for it. Right, let's go attack in here. Um, bit more expressive, run at defence. Let's really get in their faces. Come on, boys. Goal here. Nope. Go on, fight for it, fight for it. Get in, get in. Right, we've got plenty of time here to get the winner. Plenty of time. They're very clumsy from their goalkeeper, but we'll take that all day long. And I think it's going to be time. It's going to be time. Tossoon's coming on. The Rondon's coming on. And I swear to God, if Tossoon comes on and scores, I'm going to have some type of breakdown. Let's go for this. It's on me now if we lose. All on me. All on me. If we lose, all on me. I've, I've gone out for it. I don't think it's going to... It's 
still all on me if we lose. They're getting chance after chance here. But come on, boys. Last opportunity. Nothing. I, I reckon that's going to be it. Unless we can win this. We have. We've, we've, oh, my God. Van der Beek. Great footwork. Richarlison. Honestly, beautiful from me there. This is the tactical awareness to even try it. I mean, I could have risked everything there. I could have given up the win streak. Everything. But... I've gone very attacking. I've taken the risk and it's paid off. And I mean, honestly, this one goal deficit run that we're going on is something else. The discipline in the team, I don't know where it's come from. It's incredible. It really is. But we've now got a free day rest until Arsenal at home. So I'm going to come back to you once I've got the lineup and hopefully we can carry on with this run. So then this is going to be the team against Arsenal. Um, a very, very similar team indeed. We're playing a slightly... Actually, this is something I didn't actually see right off the bat. Um, we are going to start in this game and then take him off for Tossoon if we if we need to. Um, a few players in here are not fully rested, but the season's getting to that point now where the games are sort of being forced together. Um, so it's just something the players have got to play through. And hopefully we can we can just have a little that little edge to go out here and make sure that we you know carry on this run a point would be fine at the end of the day i'm not even paying attention to this because we shouldn't even be considered in the race so um i'm fully focused on just trying to keep this winning spree going um whether that be a draw or a win um at the end of the day what i've done with this team already is gone above and beyond in so many aspects of the game i don't think anyone would be even prepared to disagree with that as a statement so I mean, it's been a very dominating start. This narrow formation, by the way. Um, well, I mean, it's been absolutely great. It really has. What I will say is when you're doing an online save, obviously, if... Oh, I accidentally pressed... Oh, I pressed the bloody wrong one. Um, if, you, if you're playing an online save, obviously, if your team... Not teammate, but your mate sees you, you doing it, he could, he could try and counter it. Um, but when you're playing the AI... I don't know if they even tried to counter it or not. So for me, it's been absolutely, well, as you can see, it's done me brilliantly. But a very quick half with not many highlights, um, which is strange, but we're going to encourage him here. Um, Tossoon could come on if needed, but we're going to see if we can get a goal without him. Um, and just hopefully, sort of, you know, just that one goal is massive. And are we going to get it? Not yet. Not yet. A load of bookings though. Players are tired. Van der Beek is shattered. Um, let's make the subs. Let, let's make the call. Richarlison off for Tossoon. Ali. Oh, we're out of substitutions. Okay. Right. Tossoon's coming on. I've made the call. Hopefully it doesn't bite me. I mean, it wouldn't bite me if we concede because it's not his area. But Gomez, ball for off. What is going to be the moment? Van der Beek. Tossoon, ball through. Calvert-Lewin, and who assists him? None other than Tossoon, and a player which I have called upon so many times, a man that I actually give it, I give him an increased contract because he wanted to leave, and I knew that he could bail us out in so many occasions, and he has done. And, I mean, if we now go on to win this, is Tossoon going to be the hero, alongside of Calvert-Lewin, obviously, because they've both contributed towards that goal. But Tossoon's a work engine as well, playing for the team, doing everything he can. And DCL's gone through again, and that is 2-0. A game which looked so close, now looked so far for Arsenal. And honestly, what a game this has been. What a season it has been. The Everton fans have been something else. They've been a joy to play for. And honestly, a fantastic season. And I'm hoping we can, next game when we play Liverpool, that Every part of me... Hang on, we have got to be careful here before I get carried away. Um, let's tell him to focus here. Okay, this, every part of me wants to go there and win and bring home two trophies in one season because it would be absolutely magical. We have got a seven-day rest, but that still is too much for Michael Keane, who is going to be out for eight days. And we now look at the... Um, our squad, and it's going to look slightly different for the final. Obviously, I think Nina will be stepping in, but there is quite a big gap, so I'm going to simulate and come back to you once we've got the team ready for the FA Cup final. 
So then, the big moment has arrived. We are playing Liverpool in the FA Cup final. We are actually going to start Holgate ahead of Mina, just because Mina is looking pretty, you know, like he could play 75 minutes but not a full game. But this is the team you're going to be playing. It's the best chance we've got um, of winning it with the team that I've put out. And I'm hoping we can just get over the line and get this done because it would be such a shame to get this far and not win it. But obviously the opposition that we're playing is absolutely incredible. And... We've got, we've got to have respect at the end of the day. E either way, we've done incredibly well to get here. So let's just see how it goes. Um, I imagine they're playing full strength. We all look at it. Unless they... I mean, they're, I mean, they're probably focusing on the title as well. Um, because they could slip up. You never know. But Van der Beek looking to try and get a ball in. Salah gets absolutely pocketed by Patterson there. Um, let's just have a little look at their formation. Yeah, they, they've gone full strength on this one. Um, no Van Dijk, though, unless there's an injury. But definitely going forward, they've got some full strength. And Holgate, the man that was brought in at the last minute, has flicked in a set piece. Um, a very unlikely goal scorer. And we're 1-0 up. And what a moment. And it's 2-0. Liverpool, have they fallen apart? The first goal was unexpected. And that goal there, we're actually going to have a look at that goal. Um, a long throw-in. Delhi it bounces off one of the... A very unfortunate goal for Liverpool to concede. But I will take it every single day. And we are now looking... Well, the job's nowhere near done. But as, as starts go to games... That's what you want, but Mane looking to punish, and just like that, they've shut me up. Jota, they're instantly back in the game. That's why Liverpool, you need, I mean, you can never have too many goals against Liverpool in terms of advantage, because they will punish you at any moment. That's what they, that's what they are, that's what they do. Um, but honestly, I, I just hope we can do this. I'm just thinking about what I could change, but... Calvert-Lewin, I think he was offside anyway. But overall, a good half. Um, we're going to keep it the same because it's not a bad performance. Um, the goal we conceded was just fantastic play from Mane. A beautiful ball into Jota as well. And we've just got to hope we've got enough in the tank to sort of seal us over this line. Let's pause this now. Make, make some subs. Van der Beek's looking quite tired. Um, I am actually going to bring on Gomez in his position. Who else is it? Everyone else can stay on for now. We've still got plenty of time in this game. Van der Beek, which is looking quite run down. So is Patterson. It's going to let. Oh, that's a poor throw in from Patterson, actually. They've got a chance here and they've equalised. James Milner, 2 2. Um, really not what you want to be seeing. This will fuel Liverpool now. It will fuel them. We've got a chance here, though. Richarlison through, completely skies it. And I am going to be looking. Both fullbacks are tired. Um, we've got to be sensible, though, because obviously there is going to be extra time if needed. And Gomez has an opportunity there. Nothing comes from it. And it's highlight after highlight battering me. I mean, honestly, it's so hard to keep up with the commentary. And Chamberlain's gone in. He's onside. He's onside. And now, right. Panic stations, very attackings coming out. We are going to bring on Tosun as well. We're going to get Gray on, and this is this is now. I don't think we can make any more subs, can we? We can. We, in fact, we, we are. We're going to bring on a fullback as well. Then get just get energy on the pitch. We're going to encourage him. We're going to tell him to be more expressive. Expressive. Sorry, run at the defence, and we are going to tell them to go for this. Um, not, not long left at all. Not long left. Um, right, this is, this is going to be one last roll of the dice. We're going direct. We're going to actually, we're about to do something crazy. We're going to push up the wingers. A very, very, very attacking formation now. Um, one last roll of the dice. Can anything happen? It can't. It's absolute heartbreak at full time. Um, again, Liverpool, a fantastic team. A team which I did say would be a struggle going into the final against. But it's fully deserved by them. So that does mean we're going to finish the season with just the one trophy being the Carabao. But do not take any credit away from that. Because to win a trophy with not making any signings with this team is definitely an accomplishment. And also the fact that we've got top four is a massive accomplishment. And 
you know, it's just... It's a shame we didn't manage to win that there. But at the end of the day, I'm proud of the lads. I'm proud of what they've done. And the fact that, you know, we've got to a final and won one. And we've also lost one. But we've got to two finals, nevertheless, is a massive result indeed. But let's get into the last game of this season, which is against Newcastle. And let, let's just look realistically. We are going to play full strength because we want to maintain the second position. So let's get, but I'll get back to you once we've got the, the start on 11. And hopefully we can go out on a high for the season. So then, guys, this is the team for the last game of the season. And I'm hoping we go out and get a win because it's all about maintaining that second spot now. Um, I'm more than confident we can. We've got the team to do so. So let's go out here. Newcastle are currently sat in relegation, so they've not got much to play for, um, I believe. We will double-check that. Um, but I think they're already relegated, and we're one nil up now. So if they are, then if they aren't, they've got more chance of it now. Um, let's have a little look. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they're going down. Definitely looks like they're going down, but we are... Wow, yeah, I mean, we are dominating now. Godfrey with the second goal in sight. Well... Two goals in seven minutes. That's a chance there for Calvert-Lewin. Unlucky, but I mean, overall, I'm, I didn't even... I was keeping tabs on it in a sense in case the miracle did happen, but in terms of league finishing, I mean, we finished second as long as we don't slip up here. Um, we finished second, and to be honest, for a first season, no new players brought in. Um, a defence which I would say is weak. Um, the attack's very good. Midfield's been very good, as Richarlison proves me right again there. Did that say 35 goals this season? Fair play to him. Um, we've only missed Liverpool off by four points, and we actually beat them one time in the league as well. Um, so, I mean, we are definitely capable of getting... Oh, my Jesus Christ. What a goal, but disallowed. But, I mean, still, what a goal that was. Top corner. But, overall, this season has been... I'd go out of 10. I'm going to rate it a solid a solid 7. I mean, we're scoring goals for fun. We've definitely found our formation. We've won a trophy. We've qualified for the Champions League. Um, finished second by doing that. And, to be honest, the only, the only place... I can think of that we need to improve on is the back line. Um, going forward, I'm not going to make any signings because I don't need to. Donny van der Beek, is he going to stay? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have the pull to get him to stay. Um, have have you know have the have the moolah, have the, ha have the money. But we're going to get Tosun on. Um, he deserves a little bit of game time. Get Gomez on as well. Why not? Um, but no, it's sort of like with van der Beek. It's not that I don't want him. It's the fact that I don't know if I can have him. Um, so we might have to replace Donny van der Beek with someone else. And that is going to be difficult because he's been such a good player for us. But I knew starting this season that there was a high chance it was going to be him here for one season. Then United would want him back. And that's probably it's going to be the outcome. But... We have to appreciate what he's done for us this season at the end of the day. He's, you know, he's come on loan. He's been one of our best players. He's helped us to achieve a second place finish, um, win a trophy. So if he does decide to leave, or maybe it's not his decision, but the United team just want him back, then we've got to be grateful we even had him. As simple as that. And we will try and sign someone to fill his boots and also try to bring in. Realistically, I would, I would like to get. It's close to what I could describe as a world-class centre-back and a full-back, because Coleman's getting on, and the other sets of full-backs we have are youngsters, where I would like someone that is a quality already first-team right-back, and Coleman's just not really that. No disrespect to him. Pickford will stay, because he has sort of redeemed himself. He has still had quite a few errors this season, but overall, if I was to say... Out of 10 for him individually, probably like a 6 this season. Not the best, but towards the end of the season, he did make some important saves. So we'll, we'll trust him, you know, for another season and just see see if that punishes. You know, that could come back to bite me. But I personally believe he is definitely on the up for us. As we look to seal out this game, unfortunate there from Calvert-Lewin. But it is, you know, 4 to the 2, possibly 5, a missed opportunity there. And we will finish the season in a guaranteed 
I say guarantees. Right, let's just pause this. We're not going to let them have any fun here. Done. We are going to finish the season in a guaranteed second place position. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I am not going to make this episode like 50 minutes long because that, that is what it will be if I don't. I'm going to end it here. And I'm going to have one more episode where we seal out the season, talk stats, talk the future and break it down. But if you have enjoyed this video, guys, please leave the video a like. Don't forget to comment. Please do subscribe as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it enough, please do leave a like on the video and please do subscribe. Turn on notifications for plenty more uploads. Underneath my camera, I've personally selected a video which I really think you'll like. And also up next on the other side is a video that YouTube think you might like from my channel. So please do check them out, guys. Also, if you do want to keep in touch with me, be sure to follow my socials. I've got my Instagram and my Twitter above. I love to interact with you guys. But last but not least, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.